Hey everybody and welcome back to Split Couch Games. I'm just making a quick video to tie up some loose ends and announce my streaming plans. I'm going to start with the gear stuff because I think that's what everyone cares about, but if you've been wanting more tutorials from me, stay tuned to the streaming section where I'll let you all know what I plan to do with that. A couple months ago, Miguel Flores asked me what I thought would happen in the next installment of the franchise from both a story and gameplay perspective. Before I talk about that though, I think it's important to comment on what the Coalition is doing with Gears 4 right now. This month will be the last set of maps that we were promised, so we were getting to a month and now we won't be getting any more in theory. That's kind of sad because I think that the game is going to be lasting a little bit longer than we anticipated and I'll talk about that in a second. But that being said, they're, they are putting a lot of work into reworking the competitive weapon balancing and game mechanics, so they're not abandoning the game by any means, but we're not going to be getting any more maps though I do think that they will probably drop a couple here and there to uh, surprise their fans. And that, coupled with the fact that we haven't had a Halo game in two years, I don't think we're going to get a Gears game in 2018. We're pretty much guaranteed to see Halo 6 in the holiday season of 2018, even though it's not announced yet, it's just super likely. And Microsoft isn't going to want to have two of their biggest franchises competing against one another. At the earliest, we'll see Gears 5 in March 2019, but even that isn't likely. The Gears Pro Circuit just doubled its prize pool for Season 2 to $2 million, so that's obviously doing very well for them. The season will be ending sometime in the summer of 2018, and that would mean that the next season would be starting right about this time next year, and again wouldn't finish until summer 2019. And I don't think they would release a brand new game mid-season, so I think we'll be seeing Gears 5 in the holiday season of 2019, or at least fall. Now back to Miguel's question. The Coalition is putting in a lot of work getting the game in a good place with its balancing and mechanics, so I would imagine that the game will play pretty much identically to what we see at the end of Gears of War 4. They'll add some new weapons and a couple new mechanics, kind of like how the grabbing and jumping over cover were introduced in 4, but I'm actually almost tempted to say that if the Pro Circuit is doing as well as it seems it is, that we won't actually see a full release of Gears again. Similar to how League of Legends, Dota, and other games do it, we'd really just see some consistent updates with new weapons, new maps, etc, etc. I don't think that model actually works that well for a shooter like Gears because those really rely on new champions being released with new abilities, and so I don't think it's going to quite work out that way, but it's an idea that I wouldn't be super shocked to see come to fruition. Long story short though, the game Gears of War 5 is probably going to be 95% exactly what we see in Gears 4. As for the story, I haven't been able to confirm this for myself, but I've been told that the studio lead at the Coalition, Rod Ferguson, said that this trilogy isn't a trilogy in the standard sense. And with the way the fourth game ended, I'm not sure where the story could go for the characters that we met, but if we followed another group during that same timeline, it could be a cool way to learn more about the Swarm from another perspective, perhaps, you know, an a group of outsiders fighting them or even play as you know actual gears again and help out Jin and her search for whatever is happening um, and then it would be kind of cool that in the third game we'd actually meet up with JD and his crew and have them all together to defeat the big bad guy but no matter who the game focuses on we're going to be fighting swarm and hopefully learning more about them and the locust now on to the streaming. If you've been waiting for me to make more Gears tutorials, I am so sorry that that hasn't happened. At first, it was life getting in the way. I just didn't have the time to do it. You know, I'm working 40 hours a week and doing other videos and just kind of living life and those tutorials take a little bit of time. So I'm sorry that I didn't get those to you. And then the moment that I had some time, our channel was hit by the apocalypse. Um, for those of you who don't know, basically a lot of gaming channels in particular, uh, any kind of news channel like Philip DeFranco were hit with uh, demonetizing the or YouTube demonetized their videos so that they just weren't making any ad revenue. And literally every single one of our Gears of War videos were demonetized. Presumably because it's too violent, but it's just our best guess. And for those of you who don't know, if a video is demonetized, it is given less priority in searches and showing up in suggested feeds, so less people will find it. 
and I just didn't have the motivation and I still don't really to put the work into those videos and have a chance that nobody will see them. But I do have some plans for streaming. I uh, will be streaming at twitch.tv slash btwick. It's B-T-W-I-C-K. It's on screen. You know, I will be streaming mostly Gears of War, but with a few other games sprinkled in here and there to help my, help diversify my gaming habits. But I have one idea in particular for Gears, though, that I'm super excited about, and I hope that this works out. Uh, I want to do those types of tutorial videos, but live with you guys asking questions, giving thoughts, etc. And I want to use your clips as teaching aids, so starting now, send me any clips that you have recorded that you think could be used to teach others. Or if you have a question about what you could have done better, or anything that you just think is plain awesome. I love to analyze the game and would love to have other members of the Gears community contribute to this. And like I said, I'm super excited about this idea, and if I could just even get like, you know, five people watching me analyze this stuff and asking questions and interacting, that would just make me so happy, because again, I just love talking about the game. As for the other games I plan on streaming, if in case you're interested, um, I'm going to be streaming a lot of single player games. Uh, I'll probably be doing that kind of stream, you know, once or twice a week, depending on time. Um, I'm going to be streaming some PUBG. Um, me and my friend Sam, we play that a lot, so I'll be streaming us and our shenanigans in that. I'll be streaming maybe a little League of Legends, some Hearthstone, some chess even. I don't know how many people know this, but I've been playing chess since I was four, so I'm somewhat decent at it. I'm not, like, amazing, but it could be fun. So if you're interested in any of that, uh, be sure to stop by. And uh, I'll probably stream that and any other random games, you know, maybe like Battlefield 1, Battlefront 2, uh, just anything that I found feel like playing, I'll probably stream it. Um... As for the single player streams, uh, those will actually all be uploaded to this channel. Um, I believe currently the plan is that they're going to be released on Mondays here. If that changes, we'll let you know. Um, but yeah, so if you don't catch the stream, you'll be able to catch up here. And you'll be notified if you're subscribed to the channel. And I'll probably be finishing up Life is Strange within the week. Uh, and then kind of spreading out the releases here. But if you want to catch it live, you guys can totally do that. Um, at twitch.tv slash btwake the link will be down in the description and you can also follow me on twitter to know when i'm going to go live speaking of when i'm going to go live uh, i'm still working on that streaming schedule um right now i'm guaranteed to be streaming monday nights uh tuesday and thursday afternoons uh there's a slight caveat in that where um sometimes i need to plan things in the afternoons on those days so if I, but if I stream, let's say if I miss a Tuesday, there will be a guaranteed stream on Thursday. And if I stream on Tuesday, then there might not be one on Thursday. But if I don't, but on the days that I don't hit the afternoon slot, there will be one in the evening. So Tuesday and Thursdays, there's going to be a stream. And then on top of that, like I'll be streaming on the weekends and really any time that I feel like I have the time to dedicate, you know, an hour at least to streaming, I'll boot it up. You know, like we've said in previous videos, it's really just difficult for us to put the time into YouTube when they're changing everything and really kind of screwing over smaller channels. So we're moving to streaming to kind of take out Roblox. Uh, it kind of sucks that we kind of have to give up, you know, this community of almost 500 people that have subscribed, but it's really the best for us. Anyways, uh, we still do have the podcast every week. So don't worry, we're not abandoning the channel or anything like that. Um, yeah, so with that being the case, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Couch Games.